Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I know usually when you click on a video from me, you're expecting a POV, something specific towards a piece of gear, but this time it's a bit different. Now, as you may or may not know, I travel quite a lot and I'm very thankful for it and I'm grateful for it. And last year I traveled to quite a few places and I never really documented any of it, for YouTube at least. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a few of my posts, but this year as I'm pushing for YouTube, I really want there to be a series of documented videos where I show you how I shoot when I'm abroad. So recently, I just got back from Istanbul. It's a city rich in culture, in its characters, and the street photography scene is absolutely amazing. Now, while traveling, one thing I do like to do is travel light. I don't wanna carry too much and hinder myself, or my wife for that matter. So for this trip, I took my trusty Fujifilm X-T4, and usually I would partner my X-T4 with the Fujifilm XF 35 1.4, the original one, the cinematic king in my opinion. But this time I wanted to do something a bit different. I wanted something that is wide, but I also wanted to be able to shoot a lot more telephoto. So what I did was I took my XF 18mm F2 and I also took my XF 50mm F2. So I think the focal range is about the equivalent of a 24 millimeter and a 72 millimeter or something along those lines and that's a lot more telephoto and a lot wider than i'm used to but after looking over the footage and the photos i got especially when i was there i'm so glad that i picked the two of those lenses to go with first up let's talk about the xf 18 mil f2 so the advantages of having something so wide on my xt4 was that i was able to capture scenes containing multiple people that really added to a story that I was trying to tell. So I'm really pleased that I took the 18mm f2 because there was so much in a scene in Istanbul in the streets and this helped me capture so much of it. Because it's wider than my usual 35-ish focal range, I didn't realise just how much I could get in. Istanbul is a city that's quite tight, the streets are quite tight, there's a lot of hustle and bustle and because you're off obviously brushing against people, having something that's a bit wide still let me take the photos I wanted to take without being in danger of being too close or too far or anything like that. So the 18 mil was an absolute workhorse this trip. I think 75% of the time this was on the camera and that's just because we did most of our walking and whatnot during the day and during the day because we were in the market areas and whatnot we really wanted to capture what I was seeing and the photos I got I'm really happy with, with this lens. It's a new addition to my Fujifilm kit I only picked it up quite recently and this was the first proper proper test I gave it so now I'm really intrigued to see how it does in London. So next up we have the XF 50mm f2 now this was my pretty much my night lens I was using this during the quieter times when I really wanted to isolate a subject. I think for the first night I paired it with a mist filter I don't remember which brand and I don't remember the strength of it. Some of the photos I got on that night, the mist filter really added to the overall feel that I was going for. The way I conduct myself in photography now, I really want to tell a story and I felt as though that really aided that storytelling. So I also used it during the day. I used it during the latter half of the trip just to get a few more tight shots of people. Um, the weather did get better so people are a lot more happy and whatnot so being able to put in a bit more reach and see expressions and whatnot was really really nice. I think for anyone looking to take photos as they're traveling having something that's wide and having something that's telephoto is something that shouldn't be overlooked. The way I see it having a range of focal lengths shouldn't be overlooked if you're looking to get into taking your photos to the next step or even if you're looking to do your travel photography. So having this which is wide helped me get those establishing shots that I really wanted to tell a story in one frame. I was able to capture people, a scene, but it was really easy to take a step back and remember this is something that I'm doing as relaxation. It's nothing to do with work. And being able to just capture a massive scene was just something that's so, so nice to me. And on the other end, having something that is more telephoto it lets you get in those nitty gritty details it lets you get people isolated um, and if you take it from a distance that's quite comfortable you can even use it to still paint a scene but i think the important thing that i'm trying to underline here is you should have some sort of lens or focal length that enables you to have an establishing shot 
and then something that allows you to get a bit more tighter when need be to capture certain characters and whatnot. So everything you're seeing on your screen and throughout this video, everything was taken with just this kit. And I genuinely, generally think that traveling light is the best way to go. Now, of course, that's just my opinion. And for these little trips, I do think that traveling light is the way to go. But the advantage of traveling light shouldn't be overlooked. I mean, you're gonna be walking a lot. You don't wanna be carrying around a massive backpack full of eight lenses and a drone and everything, unless you know, of course, you're going for that specific reason. But however, if you're going somewhere just like I did for a little getaway, taking something light, portable, something you can have around your neck, it's absolutely brilliant. And I'm so glad I ended up making the choices I did for this holiday, taking the gear that I have. So anyway, guys, I wanna say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the B-roll and the photos that you, I'll showcase throughout this video. If you wanna see anything else, if you have any thoughts or comments on the travel photography yourself, let me know, I'd love to hear them. I'm still starting out in the travel photography phase, even though I've traveled a lot. Wanting to document it is something that's quite different. Also, in regards to the gear down below, I am going to be using them in London and giving you a little POV, of course. But yeah, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below with anything you want to see from me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. Subscribe to the channel. I really want to hit that 1K mark this year. And as always, I've been your boy, Maz Vision, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.